For Vancouver Island music fans, it was performances like this from East LA's Los Lobos that kept them entertained. The band was one of about 40 musical acts that wowed a record number of visitors attending this year's event. It's been a fantastic weekend in, in all fronts. We've had amazing weather and everything's gone off without, without a hitch this year for sure. As the Music Fest artistic director, it's Doug Cox's challenge to line up performers for this three-day celebration. And it appears as the popularity of the event grows, so too does the number of musicians willing to play here. We're starting to get a really good reputation within the music industry. We have people that come from the industry as far away as Texas um, just to come hang out for the weekend. So it, it, it is getting a very good reputation. And for the performers who take to the festival's multiple stages, playing here offers them not only highly enthusiastic audiences, but also the chance to collaborate with others who may be even from vastly different musical backgrounds. What the special thing uh, was for us is uh, to meet all these musicians here at the festival and to play with those guys. That was amazing. That was the best session I've ever made in my whole life. And while the performers were pleased with what they experienced, so too were the thousands who paid to hear them. Just amazing. Really well done. Really uh, good community feel to it. It's fantastic. It's totally Vancouver Island. I love it. A great atmosphere. We just this love is it. where you actually feel like a community. Perfect. Event organizers and their more than 1,000 volunteers have always felt they're putting on a festival that stands apart from others in Canada. And judging from those whose job it is to attend those many festivals, the Valleys is indeed unique. I think it's a magically programmed festival, and it's got that kind of uh, voodoo or juju that you almost can't explain. It's just the backstage community is maybe about the best and most fun and closest. I just love it to death. Hosting the festival means the Comox Valley also benefits from national media exposure. CBC's Radio 2 recorded many of the performances, with plans to include them in two upcoming two-hour music showcases. When this show plays right across the country, it says over and over and over that this music festival is coming to you from the beautiful Comox Valley. In Courtney, Gord Kerbis, A Channel News.